Hi, um, this is the part I don't understand. I'm 52 years old. And in that time, I have had, when I went to school, I had bullies. And I never used a gun. And when I got older, I found that bully that hurt me. And I found him at a party. I took him outside and whipped his ass with my hands. I didn't have to use a gun, a knife, a rock, or anything. Uh, my kids have been bullied in school. And when they take their anger out, now they're claimed as a terrorist or something. And my kid didn't even want to use a weapon, wanted to use her hands to whip this kid. So we're in a land of, of kids are like being a puss because you have to pull a gun or a knife and they don't use their hands anymore. Uh, these kids that bullied that kid at the Parkland School in Florida, this whole thing, uh, they bullied this kid to the point where he pulled a gun and hurt the other kids. But he was driven to it because these kids did it to him. But media is not talking about it because they don't want everyone to know that bullying does this to kids. And there are hundreds of kids all over the United States that are killing themselves, um, all these things because of bullying. And But nothing happens to the bullies. They think it's funny and all that. And uh, nothing ever happens to them. Well, look what happened to him at this school for this, because a lot of them got shot at because of what they did to him. Um, and it's happened at other schools, and it happens on the streets, it happens everywhere. And But it's not the gun's fault. The gun did not do it. It is the person that's doing it. It's not the gun. And I've had guns sit in my closet or in a gun rack for years, and the gun has never moved. It's never done anything. Unless I move it myself. But it's never moved. Uh, I used to carry a gun rack in my car. In my truck. I had a gun rack. And I went to high school that way. And I had two rifles hanging in there. No one ever said a word. I locked my truck. I walked away. Went to class. I came out. The rifles were still there. I never left the truck. Um... So it's not the gun's fault. And all these people are keep claiming it's the gun. Now these little bump stocks they're talking about on the end of the gun, even if you take that bump stock off, the gun still fires. That's not stopping anything. That little piece on the back of the gun is not stopping anything. So take that off and you can still fire this gun. So that's stupid, this little bump stock horse shit that they're trying to pull on everyone. Um, I don't get it. And I was brought up that there's two genders, male and female. And now I was brought up to be respectful towards women. And I go out to the store and I open the door for a woman, I get hit. I've been hit in the head, I've been hit in the chest. I've been kicked uh, just for opening a door, allowing a woman to go ahead of me in line at the grocery store. I say, here, go ahead of me in line, and I get hit or kicked or yelled at. Uh, this makes no sense. So all of you guys out there that are holding car doors open for women that were taught the right way to do this, um, women out there are saying this is wrong now so I'm getting to the point where I don't want to hold the door open for a woman anymore I don't want to give her respect uh, because they're mad at that I don't want to pull a chair out for a woman at the, at the dinner table or let her go ahead of me in line at the store or even say hello how are you doing or compliment her on her dress or compliment anything because it's wrong now to do that. So, and my friends, oh my God, my God, my friends are telling me, dude, man, you can't do this anymore. You can't speak to women. You can't do this or that. It's not like it was in the 70s 
uh, the 80s, the 90s, you know, it's not like it was, so you have to change your whole attitude now, which I think is wrong. So you ladies are really putting it hard for men who are trying to be really respectful to you and nice to you. You're making it hard for us, or really hard. Um, it's just really hard to watch the news. Uh, I just got through watching the illegal, with this all illegal thing going on, and my family came over here years ago, had to go through the whole process to get into this country. Uh, my family is of German descent. We had to come in legally and do it the right way. But I I did one time where I needed assistance and I went to go get assistance and because this person was illegal, they walked right ahead of me. They brought him first before me and I was legal citizen with social security card and everything, driver's license. They got the aid and they got four times the amount of aid that I've received, uh, which didn't make sense at all. Our country is really, really messed up. So I don't know what to say. I don't know what to do anymore. Um, but I think our country needs to wake up and understand there's something wrong. And our president, I voted for Trump because he was going to shake things up and do something for this country. And he was saying the things that I wanted to hear. Uh, Hillary, all of you supporters out there for Hillary, where was she says she's for women. But where was Hillary when all the women that her husband raped, attacked, did all these things to, where was she standing up for those women or even getting mad at him for what he did? She didn't even care. So... But we're going to go after Trump because before he was president, he had some kind of an affair or he slept with a woman or did this or that before he was president. Who gives it? Who gives a shit? Okay, this was before he was president. This is his own personal life, his own personal thing. Our president, Clinton, did this while he was in office and did all these things with Monica and all these things behind our backs and got caught for it. But Hillary did nothing. And so there's a lot of reasons that I didn't vote for her. But if you ladies want to stick up for all that, that you say that she's for women, well, she wasn't for the ones that her husband did stuff to. And those women were made to shut up and not come out with anything. So there's reasons for that. But Trump, uh, I want him to build the wall and get do it like he said he was going to do. And why is it okay for Mexico to have a wall uh, to keep people from coming in uh, down there, Guatemala and those areas, they can't even come across with walls. Other countries you can go into, uh, you get shot once you cross the border. Uh, other countries have walls uh, because that's the way it's set up, but we're not supposed to do that because we get to give it away for free. And we have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of kids that have no food, no house, know nothing they sleep in the car with their parents and but yet you come across the border you get all of this stuff for free but the kids that were already here that that need it don't get anything and I think is wrong and there's a guy down the street for me who uh, is from Iran and he owns a liquor store down the street from me and I asked him how he did it and he said he just had to come over here and they gave him the business, they gave him a loan, they did all this stuff for him, and he still gets welfare, and he still gets aid, and he gets to run a business, and he gets all of this, and he drives a beautiful car. And he didn't even have, and he's still going through the paperwork to become illegal, but he gets to have all of this. And he says, I got more than you, and he started laughing. That hurt after all the years of putting in and busting my butt to do everything for my family but yet you could waltz in and just take over and get all this stuff handed to you. I just wanted to rant and rave a little bit to say my side into all of this. I know no one's going to watch this. Uh, if you do, you can leave a comment. Uh, I don't know what else to say. but. 
the people that bullied that, that kid to make him shoot up the school, they need to be held accountable. They need to have uh, something done against them because what they did was wrong. And all the other kids across the United States that are doing this to other kids need to have something happen to them. So they know not to bully other kids because there probably will be other shootings because of this because these kids do not know when to stop. So I'm not giving up my guns. I am not giving up anything. I believe in the Second, second Amendment. I believe in my free speech and I shouldn't have to give up anything for nothing. I, I earned it. I keep it. So you all have a great day and God bless you and that's all I can say. Thank you for being on my channel. Bye-bye.